think look, what we had was a really competitive game against a local rival and, and you can see uh, moments during the course of the game where the players were really brave, really competitive um, and were able to do things that we were working on. So, you know, we talk about it, it's very early in the season, so we're, we're more focused on ourselves, making sure that we're improving our identity. And I think you saw that, you know, in place on, on uh, Sunday night against Orlando. Orlando's obviously uh, a well-coached team. They had some really good rotations in, in the middle, but our guys stood tall and uh, read some situations really well and uh, were able to execute. And we come away, you know, wanting to a little bit more as always, and felt we could have got a little bit more. But as a, as a coaching staff, we're just extremely proud of the the effort, the determination of the players, and the commitment to doing the right thing. And I think I think you know what you have. We have a core group coming back. So you know, last year, you know, they, they had an experience in, in the USL, um, and that hardens you up for sure. And, and and these these boys went through lots of different experiences last year. So I think this year coming back. The players are really committed to getting better and, and work on their own, you know, development. And you know, obviously, they all want to to achieve their goal, which is to represent into Miami first team. And you know, they're committed to that. So you see that in the training, you see that on games. And I think you know, you've got a more seasoned group, even though they're very young, but a, a, a more battle tested. And I think that's what you saw on Sunday. And they were really well prepared for that game. And we expect the same next next uh, Saturday in New York yeah I think you know kind of two questions in one but you know basically you know the the integration with MLS 2 is, is far more seamless than, than what it was previously so the the ability to move between rosters is, is a lot easier and a lot more fluid which is exciting for the players because they know you know on a given given Saturday or Sunday they could represent the first team and, and we've had players get that opportunity which is fantastic so they know that everything matters every day matters every training matters so you know the integration you know it's been fantastic really you know from from day one with you know Phil Neville Jason Paddo uh, Mark Mason the whole coaching staff um, you know we talk regular we communicate well and you know we're all coming from from the same page of making sure you know with the MLS two players that these players are getting better and our job and our role whether you're a U17 player or, or, or a second team player or a first team player playing on the second team that you're ready um, for selection for the following weekend and uh, as best prepared as possible so when your opportunity comes you're ready to make that step up. No, this weekend uh, Jovin's uh, not travelling with us. Um, you know we've got we've got a, a group, a core group travelling with us this weekend, and uh, you know that that group will certainly be ready for New York. Is this part of his recovery process, or has he had a setback? Or? No, 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 no. I think it's more make sure that he's prepared for the upcoming games. I always get a lot of questions. About so I mean, basically, look, I don't like really singling out individual no. players, uh, but you know, Romeo um, is improving a lot, and I think what you find is a young man that comes and is committed to getting better every day, and now you're seeing some of the benefits of that work. So you know, when you work hard daily in training, and you work at your game, and you progress going forward, which is what the obviously his ambition is to do. Um, you know, you're going to see that, and just really pleased with him. I'm really pleased with the whole group. Sure. You know, I think this group and the environment we have, with it doesn't matter who's training with us on what given day, whether it's a U17 player, whether it's a, a first team player. You know, the staff is committed to getting these players better, and I think all the players have improved this spring um, so far. And if we can improve by the same leaps and bounds over the summer, you know, the, the, these players will be in a good place come the end of the season. But he's I strong. think, you know, we, we watched a lot of video of him coming in, and, and what you find with um, with Ame is a good defender. It's very hard to get by him. You know, he's got a lot of things to work on. Uh, you know, in, in in terms of his game, but the one thing that he has, which I think is a, a real asset, it's very hard to get by him because he takes up good positions and he he, he gets a good position, and it's his a long way to go up, to get round yeah. him. Sure. You know, yeah. so um, you know he, he he's a good young man. He wants to keep learning his craft. He wants to keep getting better. He's always looking to improve. Um, so those little details of how you make that more efficient, make that more better, he's taking on board, and you know. I said think. the experience in Zambia also really helped him, even though it was six days. He thought he came back with a lot of good lessons. Yeah, I mean, look, you represent your country. You, you're gonna, you know, for the first time, you're gonna learn a lot of things as mm -hmm. as many players have done previously. So, is it again a good young man working hard at his craft? Um, really, no different to a lot of the players we get, and that's that's one of the things we want at this club: is players that want to get better. You know, come in with a growth mindset um, to improve the game, and that's what what we're set up to do.